Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'll be reading Joshua 14 of the King James Version Bible and it reads and these are the countries with the ch which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan which Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel distributed for her inheritance to them. But Lot was their inheritance by Lot was their inheritance as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses for the nine tribes and for the half tribe. For Moses had given the inheritance of two tribes and a half tribe on the other side Jordan, but unto the Levites he gave none. He gave none inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. Therefore, they gave no part unto the Levites in the land, save cities to dwell in with their suburbs for their cattle and for their sustenance. Let me say sustenance. Substance. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and the Lord commanded Moses. So the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Zephane, the Kenizzite, said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses, the man of God, concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barnea. Forty years old was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to, his, to east by out the land. And I brought him word again as it was in mine heart. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt. But I wholly followed the Lord my God. And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance and thy children's for ever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he said, These forty and five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness, and now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. As yet, I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me, as my strength was then, even so is my strength now, for war, but to go out and to come in, both to go out and to come in. Now therefore, give me this mountain whereof the Lord speak in that day, for thou heardest in that day how the Anakims were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him, and gave unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh, Ebron, for an inheritance. Ebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, unto this day, because that he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel, and the name of Ebron before was Kerjatharba, which Arba was a great man among the Anakims, and the land had rested from war, had rest from war. Alright guys, so here we see where something that was actually spoken by the Lord is being honored here. Alright, um for Caleb, son of Jephne. He had actually he was one of the men who actually went out and spied the land of Canaan when Moses had sent them and he came and gave word back to the people. And he was not one of them that actually lied. He was one that spoke the truth. And so for that, he was promised an inheritance of the land which he went to, which was in the mountains. And so here it is being said that he actually was given that land for an inheritance. And also the other nine and a half tribes which were remaining that actually had an inheritance of the land 
nothing could in the Levites which had no inheritance of the land, but had their inheritance in Christ Jesus. God was their inheritance. This is showing that their land was actually divided among them, okay, by lots, according to what God had commanded. So guys, nothing much here, but this is just to show you. I think this chapter here was placed here to remind you that God always keeps his promises. He's a man that he never goes back on his word. Okay, he'll always keep his word, even if it's 45 years down the road. Okay, as you can see, being the case here with Caleb, son of Jephunneh, right? 45 years he had waited, he had helped to drive out nations after nations from the land as God has commanded. And he waited his turn until he was given his inheritance. He had to remind the men what it was that he gained his inheritance, right? And... Uh, God keeps the word of his people because if he says something, if one of his children in carrying out his, in executing his work makes a vow, a vow that is actually pleasing to God and will actually help to achieve God's ultimate goal, he will indeed keep that vow for his servant, okay, on his servant's behalf. He will not turn away from what you had actually asked and as we know it says in the bible seek and ye shall find ask and it shall be given okay and so when we as the children of god ask him something or ask something of him or we place a blessing on someone he the lord or god will actually bless that person on our behalf and he will actually keep his word, okay, to us by ensuring that he, if, as long as it is within his will for us and for that person, he will indeed bless them and he will indeed carry out our requests, okay, guys? Because we ought to remember that God's will always will be done, okay, regardless of what we might want. Or think is best because he knows everything he's all-knowing okay he's omniscient all right guys so please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification so you're alerted to whenever a new audio video is posted okay guys have yourselves a blessed day and guys Guys, please don't forget to share your thoughts, your comments, and your revelations down below in the comment section, okay? And if you have any queries, please feel free to hit me up, okay? The link to my IG is down below in the description section. Okay, guys, have yourselves a blessed day and keep your salvation. And if you have not yet gained it, seek it. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.